Hey guys, Jason Cipriani here with ZDNet. I'm coming to you from the Chicago Apple event where they focused on education as well as announced some new iPads. There's a lot of software stuff going on here, a lot of coding stuff, augmented reality, programming, all that fun stuff. And I am actually in a coding lab. And uh, behind me is a station where you program a drone to fly through that hoop and land on those little targets back there. Uh, let's take a look at some of the other stations as well as that one and discuss the new iPad. The new iPad is 9.7 inches and looks exactly like all the previous iPads of the same size, except the internals on this one have received an upgrade. It has a new A10 Fusion chip, which should give it a little bit faster processing, as well as an 8 megapixel camera, and it finally adds Apple Pencil support to an iPad outside of Apple's iPad Pro line. Along with a new education-focused iPad that retails at $299 for schools or 329 for consumers, Apple's also pushing new software and tools to be used in the classroom by teachers and students alike. A new app called Schoolwork will help teachers and students better manage their coursework, and new AR apps and new AR capabilities such as Xcode extensions. At this station in the coding lab that participants were able to visit, we had to use the Swift Playgrounds app to program this Parrot drone to stay in the air for X amount of seconds in order to go through the hoop and land on the target. And this is the kind of stuff that Apple's really pushing to get students involved with coding as well as creativity. Speaking of creativity, Apple also announced a new initiative called Everyone Can Create that will fo focus specifically on music, video, photography, and drawing. The new iPad is available to order right now from Apple.com and will begin shipping by the end of this week, so just a few days. As far as the software enhancements, some are rolling out now, others will roll out later this summer.